Hello, welcome back. It's a new filming space because it is lighter in here than it is upstairs and I have a bit more room to flounce. This is my October makes and I'm going to jump straight in with a couple of procrastination makes and one of them was some new Grow With Me uh, romper for my son. This fabric I got ages ago on my fabric hauls um, and I've got bloody tons of it. So I just wanted to make something quick and easy. There's, uh, I don't know if it's more stretchy or less stretchy than the cotton jersey because it does run big when I make it for him. But since this is 12 months to three years, I don't mind that it runs big because obviously he's now uh, one and a half, to nearly two years old. So I don't mind it running big because it'll mean it'll fit longer at the other end. So yeah, super quick, really easy and um, for Saving my sanity, I have plastic snaps and it, I also made the Halloween clothes. Here are just some grow with me leggings, 12 months to three years. And then this was a free pattern I found on the internet. It was short sleeved, I just made it into a long sleeve and had some cuffs. They are going to be pajamas. <laughs> yeah, they're going to, going to be pajamas, uh, but it is Halloween today and I wasn't wanting to make him an outfit that was only going to get worn for one day, hence um, pyjamas. But they are just leggings and t-shirt, so he can wear them on a day-to-day -day basis, which he probably will, let's not lie. So yeah, I like the fabric and they've turned out quite cute. You can't go wrong with having pyjamas. So this was the piece de la resistance for uh, the month of October. This is the fabric that my husband got me for my birthday in. September. There's a few. I have some thoughts. Uh, I'll give you my thoughts and then I'll show you some of the making process. Um, the boiled wool picks up dog hairs like nobody's business. Like you just cannot keep it clean. Um, I would not use such cheap polyester lining again in future because it's quite, quite loud. Um, I think I'd use like a cotton lawn, something a bit more expensive and less plasticky. Um, but I would use this bowl ball again because it is really pretty. Okay, this is it on. So I like the like the cream cable knit jumper because I've got like a cream neck warmer and cream hat so I think that goes with like the the vibes of it. The gold buttons go with the the red really well and I have so much space I could put on like another whole jumper and still have space in here. Um, I went with option B for the length so you can see it's quite long it goes down to maybe just just below my knees and I added three buttons, actually four in here, the first one isn't placed very well, so uh, yeah, we had to add on more. I messed up in quite a few places. So this was supposed to be hand stitched, the lining was supposed to be hand stitched, but this, the lining, the polyester lining was so hard to cut out because it's so slippery. Um, so the armholes don't actually match up and it's an absolute fucking wreck um, in here. I seamed, I surged most of the, uh, I surged most, I surged everything and so that didn't get folded over well enough and now it's come out so I'm gonna, I'm, I'm literally just gonna trim all of that back. Um, so then the holes didn't match up so as you can see I've just gone over that just to close it up. Um, I just obviously ran out of burgundy thread, so I have to do the side, same on this side as well. Uh, but you really can't, can't see it. Obviously you can see this white thread, so I do need to fix that. Um, and again with the, this lining was sort of shorter, but I cut it the same size. And I just surged the edges together, turned it right side out through a gap, and then a gap around the back actually and then I top stitched it. So you can see the gap around the back. Again, it's another mistake. It's such a bad mistake. Here's me saying I'm going to take my time. 
I could, I had so many, I ran into so many problems, which were all caused by my own incompetence. Um, I'm not being able to cut out this blue fabric well enough. Um, I do love the design, but one major issue, which I saw another lady on YouTube came across, or maybe it's Instagram, is like, look how far the shoulders go out. Like, I have it like, like six inches before the shoulder curves down. Like, I'm, so I wish the, the shoulder seam came down. It was, this was more fitted because I just then think it would look a bit better. But I don't know if that's just because the bald wool has quite a lack of drape. Um, so yeah, this is making my, my, my dream cape. Uh, I love it, I do. Um, and I don't know if I will take it apart in the future. It's a lot to undo. But I mean, the lining fabric really wasn't that expensive. It was like less than two pounds a meter. And then redo, redo the, just redo it basically. Um, because the wool is expensive and it would be worth it for something that's really going to last me a lifetime. Um, I'm not sure if the buttonhole placement was what was in the pattern. I just did it where I thought would suit. But yeah, it's um, definitely how an armhole works because then it helps you push the pram. So I just need some matching like fingerless gloves and I think the look would be complete. So I can play my phone, I can play the child, I can pick up dog poop. I don't go anywhere with the dog walking. So but yeah, I do, I do make quite a bit of noise. And I don't think the mistake on the back is that noticeable. But hey, I'm learning. It's all a learning curve. I do not have my November makes because I'm doing a taking part in a sewing vlog, a thon thing this month. Uh, my video is going up on November 15th. There's a load of sewing vloggers, so if that's your jam, uh, we're all just talking about everything we're going to be sewing for people, family, friends, relatives, that kind of thing. So look out for my November 15th video where I'm going to share with you what I'm going to make. Uh, for Christmas basically um, and then look out on December 1st for Christmas pattern, Christmas sewing gift reveals. Um, my husband is a watch so it'll be fine because he knows what I'm making him anyway so it's uh, a, bit, a bit null. Um, that's all I've got time for today, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on November 15th. This lining fabric is just cheap lining fabric, it's horrific, it's so hard to sew with. Um, I'm ripping out all of these stitches because I've ended up with this being about four or five inches too short. So I don't know if I've sewn some of the pieces together the wrong way around or my five eighths have been too generous or when I've been cutting it, it's slid around so I've not cut accurate pieces. So what I've done is I've gone and surged every single edge. But even then, the tension on it is odd. It's like my machine's just eating it. I don't know enough about sewing or sewing machines to make this right. So hopefully by surging everything and then ripping out all of the seams, it'll give me the the size that I need, the, the four or five inches, um, which I think it will give me. Okay, so after surging all the seams, I only had to unpick nearly all of them. Actually, there's only one I didn't unpick. Um, I mean, I'm glad I've surged the edges anyway because um, I, I am. That is good English. Um, so instead of sewing it on the machine, I have put it right sides together and I have surged the hell out of it because it's quicker, it's stronger, and it's just, just so much easier, man. I love my serger.